வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் எ குட் இஷ்யூ இஸ் எ மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் தட் காசஸ் ரிடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஸ்டாக் வென் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஆர் இஷ்யூட் எ குட்ஸ் இஷ்யூ டிக்ரீசஸ் த ஸ்டாக் லெவல்ஸ் அண்ட் மேக்ஸ் த ஃபினான்ஷியல் போஸ்டிங் டு ரெடியூஸ் த ஸ்டாக்ஸ் குவான்டிட்டி அண்ட் வேல்யூ ஸோ த குட்ஸ் இஷ்யூ ப்ராசஸ் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இன் கிரியேஷன் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் டாக்குமெண்ட் அண்ட் அக்கௌண்டிங் டாக்குமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் எஸ்ஐபி ஆஸ் இட் ஆப்பன்ஸ் டூரிங் குட்ஸ் ரிசிப்ட் In this session, we will discuss how to perform goods issue to cost centers and the production orders. Before going to the session, let us review answers for the quiz of previous session. What is the difference between the posting date and document date? The posting date is the date on which the document is posted. They should fall in two posting periods kept open by finance. The document date is the date on which the document is posted. In MIGO, under the Metal tab, can we change the details? Because there are some details which we can change, which we cannot change. So under Metal tab, there are two possibilities. One, we cannot change in case MIGO is done with reference to the purchase order. I am talking about material under Metal tab. At the same time, we can change the details if MIGO is done without a purchase order or for uploading initial stock. So please take note of it because sometimes you may be able to change the metal, sometimes you may not be able to change the material. What are the three stock types that appear during goods receipt? During goods receipt, we have options to select unrestricted stock, quality stock or blocked stock. Where it has to go, that can be decided. During goods receipt, is it possible to receive materials in different store locations? Yes. Using the distribute quantity icon, whatever the metal we received can be received in different store locations. What are the documents created during goods receipt? During goods receipt, material documents and accounting documents or FI documents are created. Is it possible to hold a goods receipt document? Yes. It is possible to hold the goods issue document. When goods issue is done, that is, the amount of stock in the plant or warehouse or store location is reduced, that is happening because of various scenarios like when the metal is shipped to the customer or metal is withdrawn from the stock for a production order a transfer of metal from one plant or store location to another plant or another store location, material required for sampling, or material which is required for scrap, like these different scenarios are there. So metal issues are having different scenarios. We'll discuss some scenarios in this session. We will discuss the goods issued to cost center and production order in this session. And we will discuss about the goods issued to subcontracting process in the session and the subcontracting process. That is a different session is there for subcontracting. There we'll discuss the goods issue for subcontracting. Goods issue to different purposes will have different movement types. For example, to issue materials for scrap, movement type 551 will be used. To issue materials for sampling from unrestricted stock, movement type 333 will be used. To issue material to cost centers for specific usage, movement type 201 will be used. Like this, different movement types will be used for different needs. So you need to understand various movement types which are available so that you will be able to understand them clearly and use them in the right way. MIGO, MIGO is the transaction used to perform goods issue. In ECC 6 and up to S4 HANA 1610, the transactions MB1A which was used for goods issue, MB1B which are used for transfer posting and MB1C which are used for other goods receipt. They were used for the various processes. But now in the latest versions of SAP S4 HANA, all these transactions are made obsolete and replaced by MIGO. Hope you remember during business partner discussion also we discussed the vendor master creation that transactions were removed. Now business partner is there like that. For these goods movements also, SAP has made the change to a common transaction which is MIGO. Now we are in MIGO screen, it is a opening screen. 
to carry out the goods issue in the first drop down list select a07 goods issue and then in the second drop down list select r10 others now the default movement type 201 appears based on the need this can be changed like for scrap or for um, uh, inspection for these purposes this movement type can be changed under material tab enter the material which has to be issued under the quantity tab enter how much quantity has to be issued now we see the movement type 201 in the where tab and also the plant in which goods issue is happening and also from which store location goods issues is happening so all these things are displayed in the where tab next is the account assignment tab in this the gl account and the cost center that is the which gl account it has to be affected and to which cost center it has to be issued these things are listed please take note this is very important proper training has to be provided to the users and also authorized users have to be have to perform these transactions otherwise it will create issues now after entering all the details check the document as we discussed earlier now the goods received process we checked how to check these things check them and then post the document now the document is saved and posted now we want to see the document which is posted again we'll use the transaction we go but in the first drop down list select a04 display and the second drop list select r02 metal document enter the metal document number then we see the details of the uh, metal mood from where it is moved account assignment all these details we can see now we will discuss the uh, goods issued to production orders so here we see the production order 100402 the list of components for the production order to be consumed are displayed under the components tab please note for the manual goods issue of materials to the production orders through migo the metal master of the component should not have any backflush indicator we can see here the backflush indicator the column is without any checkbox now if the materials are having backflush but we want to issue the materials means then during goods uh, the production order confirmation no, there we have to go and manually issue the materials we cannot issue them through migo so that is one point which you have to be careful if we put the backflush and if you go to the migo and enter the production order we will not be able to see the details we will see that later now we are in the MIGO screen to issue the goods uh, or components to the production order. In the first drop down list, select A07 goods issue. In the second drop list, select R08 the production order. And then also we can see here the movement type 261 here, goods issue movement type. Now we enter the production order number. Here we entered 100402. Once we enter it, all the components required for the production order are appearing automatically here and also the production order details also appear please note if these components were having backflush indicator those materials would not have been displayed here so we cannot issue the components through migo if it is having backflush those things have to be issued during the production order confirmation through the goods movement uh, tab that goods movement tab we will discuss it when we do the manual goods issue for the production order but as of now we will see here that uh, that migo issue how is it happening if the metal has to be issued through migo means the metal should not have the backflash indicator that is one point which you have to be uh, careful and we have to note down for each component now as indicated here select that item okay box okay that you have to select it and then uh, now once you enter it right then the checkbox under the ok that will be checked this means the item is marked for goods issue for the selected item under the material tab we see the material details under the quantity tab we see the quantity details under the where tab we see the store location from where metal will be issued and also which is the plant those details you should see by this we select all the items right the item ok details we select them under reservation tab the reservation number of the production order for which the components to be issued are displayed to view the reservation details use the transaction code mb23 here we see the reservation 3372 the production order 100402 is displayed with the components reserved for the production order 
in the account assignment tab we see the production order number 100402 for which materials issued or uh, displayed with all the details confirmed now we check the details and save it goods issue is then to the production order and the material document is posted now we'd like to display the document using Migo. here we need to use the metal document number for which components were issued in our example document number 49000006090 is the document number which was created during the metal issue for the production order now we enter this uh, component now we see enter the document number we see the components quantity from where they issued what is the account assignment all these details will appear so far we discussed manual goods issued to production orders now let us discuss the goods issued to production orders through backflush what is backflush backflushing is a term used to describe a function of component issued from the stock at the time of completing the works order automatically these parts are issued automatically from the stock without user interaction the quantity backflushed it depends on the bill of metal usage in SAP, backflush indicator enables goods issue simultaneously when we confirm the operations to which the operations, the components are assigned. The backflush can be assigned in metal master, work center, or components and routing. If it is not defined in metal master, we can define it in the uh, production order also directly. Now, the chart is showing here that uh, how the backflush indicator is taking for the material until the backflush is done. If it is there in the metal master directly it is taking the details if it is not in metal then we go and select in the work center if it is the, not there in the work center then we can define a routing if it is not there in the routing we can define in the production order also so there are various options so please go through all these details understand them and try to practice these in different scenarios because each customer will have different needs each company will have different needs so to uh, uh, enable to use the, these things properly we need to understand these functions so now backflush indicator where is it I'm just refreshing it it is available in the mrp2 view this field defines whether the metal to be consumed to production order automatically based on vom or to be issued manually when the field is blank then the metal will be issued to the production order manually when the field is selected with the value one the production order will be issued only for the metals which are there uh, consumed always from the store location if it is one means if we select the value 2 then it will be consumed based on the work center where the work center also should have the backflush so when the production is happening in the specific work center only backflush will happen otherwise it will not happen so here this also we need to understand so here we see the production order 100401 all the components are displayed and please note they are having they are all having the backflush indicator here now let us confirm the production order 100401 with the t code c0 co11n see now please enter the quantity to be confirmed and then press the goods movement tab here are goods movement icon since backflush indicator was there for the finished product and also the components we see the components and the metals are displayed here automatically with the required movement types for the metal with the goods received movement goods the movement type is 101 for the metal to be issued the movement type 261 is there now check all the details and then save the confirmation the confirmation will be saved which will also show how many materials are goods movement successfully done of which how many materials are goods movement are failed those things if there is a fail how to handle it this was explained in the uh, PP course you can refer to the PP course how to handle the failed components but now all the components are confirmed so we save the com confirmation and come out now using transaction MB51 we can list out the, all the metals which are issued for the production order 100401 with the proper uh, selection parameters in the MB51 now we see here for 100401 metals issued with the movement type 261 which metal received with the 101 all these details are available when goods issue is posted for example to production order system produces accounting and metal documents 
it updates the tables and trigger the events in other areas in s4 hana metal documents is an audit uh, is an audit document that describes the movement of materials entered on the goods issue it is created during migo accounting document is created in parallel with the metal document during the post goods issue accounting document describes the financial movement associated with the metal issue good issue slip is a printed document that can be issued by the warehouse to find the metal and provide the physical record that metal has been picked up for the goods issue the goods issue can be considered as the inventory management version of the warehouse management picking ticket here the goods issue as we explained in gr here also we have three options individual slip like a goods issue with the printed for each item or individual slip with the inspection text or collective slip where one goods issue contain all the items in this session we discuss goods issue process and transaction individual fields in migo transaction goods issue to cost center production order and documents created during goods issue now let us see some quiz questions for this uh, session what are the different scenarios of goods issue what are the two methods of goods issue to production order what is the prerequisite to trigger back flush if a component is having back flush indicator how to issue the metal to the production order which t code replaces mb1a mb1b and mb1c we'll discuss the answers in the next session in the next session we will discuss how to carry out physical stock verification meanwhile practice goods issue for different scenarios please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents also please recommend to your friends and colleagues to subscribe to the channel so they also get the opportunity to get the benefit of sharing this knowledge thank you see you in the next session take care bye